Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I've got a cool kit to share with you guys today. This is a brand new, soon to be released kit from Border Models. This is their 35th scale Panzer IV Ausführung F2 slash G. And they give you the option, that's the, the reason on the kit here, you can build either the F2 or the G. And I'll kind of explain a little bit of the differences between the two tanks once we actually get into the model itself. But uh, you guys may have watched me build the other Border Models Panzer IV probably about two months ago now and I was just saying in there man I'd like to do a North African one too and lo and behold this thing shows up so very excited about this we're definitely gonna be building this one up in fact I'm as soon as I'm done filming this I'm gonna start cutting parts off the sprue so hopefully in the not too near future or not too far off future we will get this one built up and done uh, like I said very excited about it now Many of you may have uh, seen some of my other video last year. I got to the privilege of going to the Deutsche Panzer Museum in Germany, and they let me crawl inside a real Panzer IV G, which we'll put some pictures in at the end of the video to let you see the the inside or the outside, because they have a, a beautiful working model, not working model, working tank. It actually runs and it's in perfect, perfect condition. Uh, a great, great site. And like I said, I was they were kind enough to let me go inside and just had a wonderful time on it too. So we'll put some of those pictures at the very end of the video. So uh, it looks like it's a really cool kit. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the new border model Panzer IV F2 slash G and uh, what it means by that too it says and G here you can actually build either one of the variants either the FT, F2 or the G inside and I'll just talk just for a few minutes here just to uh, explain some of the differences on it. So up until that point of the uh, the Panzer IV's evolution the F1 looked like very similar to like a D or a C or B in you know overall shape it still had the short 75 millimeter gun. Well, as the war progressed and the Russians started putting larger and larger tanks into the field, the Germans realized they needed to put a more powerful gun on their Panzer IVs, and they did with the F-2. Now, the F-2 would eventually, after just a couple of months of production, be renamed into the G, but it had a few little minor variations on it. First and foremost, the F-2 most recognizable is this round shaped muzzle brake. It's, as soon as you see that, that's an F2. It's a very unusual one and it's only on the F2s. Also another visible sign that was taken away in the G's is the F2 had the side vision ports on both sides of the turret and those were removed in the G model. And if we take a look at the, the side box art here, you can see this G here with the, uh, the standard muzzle brake and then the Panzer IV F2 with the round muzzle brake and also the, uh, the vision port on the side. Now I've been wanting to obviously do a North African uh, Panzer IV and I think this is going to be a perfect opportunity to do it, especially since I have all of those pictures that uh, from the Deutsche Tanke Museum in Germany when I was there last year. They have a beautiful restored G right on the grounds. It's actually fully runnable. I was allowed to go inside and uh, play around inside there and it was just such a cool thing. So I've always wanted to build the tank that I got to go inside. So that's probably what we'll do on this when we actually do the build video on it is make it very similar to the one that uh, that I actually got to see. So now let's take a look at the parts inside this kit. First and foremost I want to show you guys right off comes with a metal barrel inside the kit and the reason there is no muzzle brake on this is because they give you multiple muzzle brakes in plastic all slide molded inside the kit. Now we'll take a look at the hull of the vehicle and uh, Border has a, a definitely a different way of molding it on and I really like the way they've done this. All of these louvers as well as all of the side of the upper hull are all molded in as one piece so it looks like they've done this all with slide molding because you still have all of this great detail on the side here 
detail on the bottom, detail on both sides. And so this had to have been done by a slide mold, I believe. I mean, based on the way it looks, especially with all the, yeah, it has to be because some had to come this way, one came down and one came from both sides. So very nicely done with that, uh, that lower hull. And we'll take a look at the, uh, the top part of the hull. And obviously a lot of these parts are going to be shared with their other kits that they've had on the market because most of the variations are just minor on here. In fact, that's why when we look at the, up, the actual turret, you can see they've left this part of the turret out. And that is so you can either put the, the F2 or the G version in with the, the vision ports or without on it. Then we'll kind of quickly go through some of the other parts that are inside here. Uh, as you can see here, lots of slide molding. So on this part right here, we have the, uh, the muzzle brake. Now this is the muzzle brake for the G and part of the actual gun. Another plastic barrel, if you don't use the, uh, the metal one. And actually, because I think you actually get two or three different barrels in here. So this is great for your spare parts box because you'll have extra barrels and extra muzzle brakes as well on that. And then we get to the fenders, and they have molded detail on both sides of the fenders. So this is the, uh, the, the top of the fender. No, excuse me, that's the top of the fender with the, uh, the holes cut out and the parts like that, and then the bottom of the fender. So you are going to get some of the detail. And actually, when I was looking at the real F2, I hadn't realized that the way that the, they had molded is these are more or less framework around here, and these pieces of metal that have the, uh, the anti-skid on it you know, the, the diamond plate type stuff, that's actually just been tacked on there. So it's hollowed out. So you would see the bottom of it. It's not like two plates on top of each other. It's actually a hollowed out portion of it. And we're going to get over here to this is part of the cupola and the turret basket. And it's got the individual vision blocks that you can drop in there. And they have both the open and the closed version on it. Some more accessories that we have here, some of the tools, uh, more slide molding. It, it appears almost every one of the sprues on here too is done with some kind of slide molding too, so get some really nice detail on it. We're going to jump over to the uh, spare track, which they give you spare track from a uh, T-34. That if, because you know, a lot of the, the G's used in Europe would use T-34 armor as extra armor or track armor. Just slap it all over there, anything to help protect themselves. So we've got our wheels here, and even like this, these are the suspension arms here. They are slide molded as well, so all of the detail is done on the outer portion of it, and that means you don't have to attach those parts. So you get two sprues of that. This is more of the, uh, the turret. So we've got a different cupola there more slide molded parts, another muzzle brake, the machine gun for the uh, the front is also molded, slide molded, and then of course we have the bottom of our turret there. Looks like to be some really nice detail. Here is another turret basket, and these are the, the louvers that they have for the exhaust on the back. Now they also include with it photo etch ones as well, and a whole bunch of decals. I think there's like eight different variations of tank you can build them. We'll show you those decals actually in a second there, but there are the metal louvers or the, uh, the plastic one-piece ones if you want to use either one of those. Come over to this section here. This is kind of funny. This actually has the, uh, the F1 barrel inside of it. It's a slide molded F1 barrel. So another great piece if you need it for your parts box. It's in there, and it's and it's because you probably need a couple of pieces off of here, so rather than cut up the sprue, they're going to give you the whole sprue. So you're going to get lots of extra parts inside there. And finally, we're going to take a look at the uh, sprue for the tracks, and actually a little bit more of the wheels too. So these are length and length tracks, and of course you guys know that, that it's one long piece that makes up the length portion, which kind of hard to see right here but these are have a slight sag to them there as they go across the, the uh, return rollers on top and that's going to take the top that's going to do the bottom and then you'll use these individual pieces to build them up to wrap around drive sprocket all those other pieces right there so you can see those look pretty cool and a lot of this you guys may have watched me watch the build or excuse me may have watched me build the border model um, other Panzer for a while so this shares a lot of parts of that but now we're gonna get to build it up in the North Africa the way we wanted
And last thing inside the kit, besides before we look at the decals and the instruction, is it has metal tow cable inside of it. And lastly, we'll just show you the decals. So you can see we get one, two, three, looks like four, five, and then there are a couple, couple more for Kharkov division right there, the LAH division. And I'll just quickly let you see what the, the actual instructions look like inside there too. I know a lot of people like to see those just to see how the kit is gonna go together. And just as you would expect, clear and up to date and very simple. They don't put too many parts on in each one of the instruction pieces. So you're not missing sometimes, you know, if there's like 20 pieces going on in one square, you go, oh, I missed one of those pieces, but look like they're, and like I said, I've built one of their other Panzer IVs in the past and it went together really nice. And I think this one will go together very, very similar. And then finally in the back here, these are all the different variations of paint jobs that we were showing with those decals. So here's an F2, here's an F2 in Russia. Another F2 looks like in, looks like, yeah, Russia. And then we get to the G's in North Africa and two more G's inside there too. So you get lots of options of the way you wanna build up your Panzer IV. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that quick look at the new uh, F2 slash G Panzer IV from Border Models. Uh, like I said, it should be out in about a month and a half to two months from what I've been told. You know, actually in the United States, it'll probably start popping up in the rest of the world about the same time as well. So as long as things start keep moving with the, uh, you know, well, you guys all know what's happening in the world. There's no secret there. But yeah, very excited to get these. This is going to be a great build. And in fact, like I said, as soon as I'm done hitting the stop button on this, we're gonna start cutting parts off this plastic and start working on it. It's my great weekend project to start having. So I wanna thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.